Hello everyone and welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be trying out Shion on dogs so yeah dogs should be pretty easy my only real worry is once again freeze but you know she has cleanse which is kind of nice uh kind of it will be quite handy also I'm gonna be trying to use her as a main DPS I do have Albert here because I want a taunt character and realistically there's not many good taunt characters that synergize well with a team like this uh we'll go to unknowns you've really only got Albedo, or you've got the blue, I saw the blue in this Rimuru here, and I will not be using this Rimuru because he is horrendous. I mean, Albedo should be quite good, mainly because, you know, she'll help with a little bit of damage, but also she'll help taunt uh, and keep everyone else safe because she is very squishy. Tono here is very squishy, and Shion's damage reduction should also help quite a bit as well, uh, which is going to be very nice. Let's actually have a look at everyone's gear first. So we have HP crit resistance on Tonar, which is like super mediocre gear here. Uh, but here you go, as you can see, resistance one side, defense the other, but these two are resistance here. Crit, crit resistance. Just because uh, crit resistance is pretty abysmal. And with 105%, it's not too bad, but without the gear, it is pretty bad. Uh, Shion is rocking attack crit. We've got Freya with attack crit, and we have Albedo with attack crit. <laughs> Thankfully, because once again, Everyone on this team is unknown or Ragnarok. We will get a basic stat boost as well as a single target boost of 20%, uh, which is kind of nice. And then for Kartek, we're running the anti-freeze Kartek because we don't want to be frozen. Uh, realistically, I don't want to be frozen. Shield, I know she has cleanse, but still, don't really want to be frozen. And that's really it. Let's get on with it. Here we go. Floor 1. I'm hoping this should be quite easy. Just got to hope. So turn 1, I don't actually need to taunt because Albedo has a passive taunt, which lasts for one turn, which I'm going to use. To my advantage. Um, okay. I'll see what damage can do with one skill. So I'll do this, 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 and then I'll use the power strike one only because the amplify one I kind of want to like let stack up a little bit. I this team only has single targets, but uh, of course, Albedo's torn. Good damage. Okay, that is damage cap. That's not bad. I want to check what her attack is. I think next phase I check what her attack is. Oh my god, I haven't really patience that. Yeah, she's basically taking no damage here. What's Shion's attack immediately? Let's check out what her attack is. 60, 61k is not bad. Which is fine, I guess. Uh, we're going to do this. I'll do this, and I'll play these two as well. Just get rid of them. Just, literally just hand space. Let's get a little bit more attack for Shion in the process. I think she's maxed now. Freya kills, that's fine. All good. Okay, now we have a bunch of ultimates. How much damage? Can I just... What does this thing's damage cap up? 30%. I want to see if I can just do this. we got Albedo's ult now as well, and I'll just pop this. Just... Bong! Yeah, okay, I can't just do this. Let Shion just do all the damage. There we go. And then we just ult with Tone on to get rid of it. There we go. I feel like Shion's going to be insane for basically every demonic beast. Because every demonic beast normally has quite a good team as it is, and you slide Shion in there as well, who works with everyone, which is probably the best thing about it. So she works with everyone. Uh, once again, her passive isn't stacking that high because she's just not taking enough damage. Uh, 67k attack, which isn't the highest. What's her substats looking like? 400% crit damage is insane. I just kind of want to see if I can one tap this thing. Uh, if not, I will use... Oh, actually, no. I think I popped the ultimate on this one. Try and one-tap this one. If not, I just ult with these two idiots. And they'll clear the field. Okay. Casual nearly 3 million. Casual 1.8 million. Okay, level 1 skill. <laughs> uh, that's just Shion for you, I guess. That's absurd. That is absolutely absurd. Anyway, that's floor 1. Uh, hopefully the other two floors are as easy as this. Here we go. Let's see how this works. I'm hoping floor 2 should also be quite easy. Uh, there's no reason for it not to be as easy, but sometimes it could be a little bit harder. Because now we've got the passive freeze that's now in play, which is slightly more irritating. Um, Freya's relic, I think, is maxed. I can't actually see. What's everyone's attack looking like? Just the most attack, but not by much. Uh, I can't actually attack that dog because I can't deal enough damage to it. I'll attack this one. Uh, I'm gonna do what I did. Just do what I did last time. 
Because if she can hit damage cap with level 1s on every single, uh, like, floor 1, phase 1, sorry, uh, phase 1 of every floor, it's actually pretty impressive. Pretty sure that's damage cap. So that's, that's pretty impressive. Because that, that white dog is super tanky. Super, super tanky. Once again, Aldo's taking basically no damage, because Aldo's already got her insane damage reduction by herself. You then add Shion's damage reduction on there, and you're looking at some insane damage reduction. Uh, once again, our pass is going to take so long to, to start, like, properly building up. I'll do this. Fan space. Get a bunch of ultimates in the process. So much damage we can do here. Shion should take damage cap. With ease. Now I just need these two to kill, which they should be able to do. I'm surprised the extra crit chance crit damage isn't actually helping out Tonar a little bit. It's definitely helping out Freya. Like Freya's damage is uh, a little bit higher because of Cleave, and Cleave is based off crit damage. Uh, yeah, he's getting he's getting a little bit of a little bit of a damage boost. Not too much, but a little bit. Um, do I just stance up here? Because you got what's your level one? Basically useless. Okay, we're just gonna like waste all the crappy skills then. I want to see how much Albedo can do, actually, because we've got this insane crit chance, crit damage boost, this extra buffs for the team. I want to see how much damage this can do. Okay, Albedo's actually hitting really hard. We also cleanse the debuffs off us as well, which I just realised. Completely forgot that happens. Okay, it met God immediately, fair enough. Fair enough. I want to see if I can just, I want to see if I can just one-turn this. So if I stance up with Awado, play both of these, and then play that, that should wipe the Black Dog, which then ha was, has all the debuffs. And then if we remove all the debuffs, we don't have to, don't have to worry about anything. And don't, then I can see how much damage Awado can actually do. There we go. That's just the White Dog. I just realised their buffs don't stack. That's kind of sad, I just realised their buffs don't stack. Because uh, Awado's ult has the same buffs as uh, Shion's passive, but they're just better because she's six six. So if they were, if she was one six, maybe Shion's would be better. But because my Albedo's six six, it's nowhere nowhere close to being better than my buffs on Albedo. Damage wise, Shion didn't do the best, but that's because once again he has death damage. She just counted her on to death. But yeah, not bad. On to floor three. And here we are on to floor three. Let's see how this goes. I'm hoping it should be quite easy. Because the other two floors were very easy. I feel like I may take a little bit more damage on this floor. Phase 2 is really my only problem uh, when it comes to using this team. That's only because it's got Infect, it's got Stance Removal, it's got Passive Freeze. It's not really anything I want to be dealing with. Once again, we'll do the Shion test, see how much damage she can do. Give her her own buff as well as uh, Tonal's buff here for maximum damage. Buy a few single targets as well to get her passive going. I think that is damage cap. That's pretty good. It does he also heal a hell of a lot, this dog. It was like blue Tarmio Link. It's doing a little bit of damage to Albedo, but not, not a significant amount. You, you kind of need Shion to take damage. That's the reason I'm giving her attack crit, right? So she would take more damage. But because of that, she doesn't actually take much damage at all still. Um, I can just do this. Can I kill with Freya here? Because what's your damage cap? Like 30%? 30%. So, yeah, I, I, I believe these guys can kill. I have faith. Yeah, quite easily these guys should be able to kill her. Now she should do damage cap. There we go. And our Freya's... He might not actually kill, nothing about it. Yeah, it's a little bit too much damage for him. He's an old character. I'm not going to... not really going to judge him for not killing there. I know, like, Shion's not the newest character, I'm not going to compare him to Freya, who's like... Ooh, Freya's an old character, I think about it. Uh... Huh. That's a problem. Not anymore. What is your debuff skill? My attack-related stats? No. Okay. We'll do this, we'll just pop uh, Albedo's counter, and then Albedo can just bonk it to death. We'll attack this dog just to get rid of skills, really. Do I lose old gauge? I don't lose old gauge, okay. So I thought attacking that removed my old gauge. There's my attack lower. Does he then buff off melee as well? No he doesn't, okay. He might be dead here. Yeah. Even with the attack lower, it's not really a problem. Um, 
I can't, I'm, can't, I'm actually just going to wail into them. Like, sing with... Okay, the, <laughs> the bug in the sky of the changing of arenas. Okay, we're just going to kill this thing and just remove all the debuffs off us. Don't want to have to deal with all the debuffs. Damage cap. Damage cap. And then Freya's going to kill. And then I wasted the toner ult, but I get it back, so it's all good. There we go. Now, none of us have debuffs, but now that someone's going to get frozen. 100% someone's getting frozen there. Probably Shion. Oh, okay, she had all her buffs removed, though, because she was targeted. And she's not uh, very attack lowered. It's probably the worst passive I could have gotten for Shion. Uh, we're all going to do this, though. Mainly for the fact that this should give me my buffs back. With Shion. I know she's, like, quite attack lowered, right? Can she still kill? She still could do quite good damage, even when, like, 60% attack lowered. It's pretty good. We're not taking that much damage. And because we're not taking much damage, we can't really stack Shion's passive. Okay, we're at 22k. So everyone on this team should have an extra 2,000 attack. Because that's how it works, basically. Um, I could actually just push. That'll give me 3 old gauge, and I play this. And I get Shion's ult again. Just I want to see what her attack is. I don't think it will survive though if I ult with Shion. I hope it can. Because I'm not really doing much damage here. With everyone else. I just want to see what the attack is with Shion. Oh, okay. It might be able to survive if it heals. Okay, it didn't heal at all. That's not good. I wonder who it decides to target. Does it say? The highest remaining HP. If I just ult. Right, that should be okay. I just want to see her stats, that's it. I could have killed a long time ago. I just want I just, I just it's always going to be her. Because when she ults, she gets a 50% basic stat boost. I'm just an idiot, and I completely forgot that that also affects it as well. We can actually see her stats now, though. Ooh, crispy. I nearly a million health, okay. Substats. Uh, we are missing out on a buff. I think... I don't know what buff it is. We are attack lowered as well by 30%, and that's still a very good attack. 78k, not even max passive, with 30% attack lowered. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm also going to let Shion get the windscreen. If not, Albedo can get it, because whatever. Yeah, Shion's definitely killing it. Actually, his damage cap with 30% attack lower. Like, Shion is very good. She has a, a very good set of skills as well. Power Strike and Amplify are two skills that are very good in most PvE places, because most PvE enemies have either a lot of resistance, or once again, you can stack up a lot of buffs pretty easily now, and then just Shadow Realm it with a single skill, because Amplify is one of the uh, best skills in terms of damage in the game. Damage time, damage dealt. She actually out damage Albedo this time. I didn't really use Albedo counter though, apart from the first phase. Uh, once again, these two don't really count, but... She does very good damage, and she is very useful. Her ability to increase damage reduction, you know, you've got the, the cleanse as well, is pretty nice, especially on uh, on dogs. And I think about, you know, debuffs can be kind of irritating. I would actually highly recommend this team. If you can make this team, I would say 100% you want this team. Uh, this is going to be my new dogs team. <laughs> like, over Thor. Thor is good, but Thor's problem is she doesn't really provide much for the team apart from her own damage. Where Shion, not only is she got insane damage, but she's got also the cleanse, you've got the damage reduction, and that kind of helps, especially on dogs, where you know, you've got lots of damage and lots of debuffs at the same time. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next one. Goodbye.